Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, if you're a hater, just click the X at the right of your screen. If you want the access to exclusive content, follow us over there onto Patreon. All of the links to access my content are in the description box below. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you. We are going to go ahead and jump straight into the energy surrounding you in this time. What you need to know, what you need to be aware of, what you can expect. I am going to go ahead and let y'all know before I get into this read. It may feel like my energy is slightly different. I have switched up the way that I'm taking this ashwagandha. <laughs> ashwagandha root. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just bear with me. I may be a little slower. The, the message may come out a little bit slower. I really don't know. We're just going to see, um, how it flows today. All right. We're going to go ahead and check the energy around your environment in this time. The energy is surrounding you in this time. Okay. Ooh, I don't like the mountain card. I do not like the mountain card. Every time I see the mountain card, it takes me back to the Lenormand deck where it's talking about, um, like an obstacle somebody trying to be an obstacle i feel like it's it's usually like the other woman or you know the other dude or whatever to a situation like the, a three-piece type situation okay but i feel like there may be a challenge that you are having to face in this next 24 it's like in the environment and it's like you're knowing that you need to kind of slow things down and look at things a little bit differently um not rush straight into it because it's like hmm I only got one life left, okay? It's definitely, they're showing me video games. <laughs> um, I'm getting like, uh, I only got one life left. I, I, I've already exhausted the other eight, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, uh, mortality may be something that you're really focusing on in your environment as well, okay? Some of you may have gone through some kind of shift to where you actually pay attention to that now, okay? Y'all may have been reckless before, but there's something about the energy in your environment. It's like you know you need to actually think something through before you get crazy because it could be your last go, okay? I am also getting the energy or the environment of a last chance, there's something about a last chance or the last go in your environment and you know that you need to take it slow okay so for those of you who are um recently getting back involved with someone who maybe you've it's either you've been through a really tough cycle in love and you are needing to take things slow i feel like you want to rush in with something but they're telling you cool your jets all right um if this is a partnership coming back, they're also saying, cool your jets. Do not jump into this super quickly because I feel like they're saying only time will tell, but you need to be slow about things. You don't need to be rushing into anything head on in this time. With this magical map shifter, I have never seen this card come out in all of the readings that I've done with this deck. So I'm going to read this one to you, okay? This is the energy that's not seen in your environment in this next little while, okay? The energy that you're not seeing is when the magical map shifter card arrives it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of a difficult or out of difficulty into a place of safety or success pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey be awake and aware and you'll recognize them for the important uh, change agents that they are your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift the magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself okay so yeah, I feel like that's also why this mortality thing is coming into play for you as well. Um, I feel like you may have acted, I heard whimsical, so maybe you were whimsical, okay? The way that you were going about things was very whimsical, but there's like something serious that's uh, rapidly approaching and they're telling you, you're not going to be able to get through this scenario or situation using the same logic that you did in your past okay or you're not going to be able to maneuver around this situation 
like you used to. It's just it's point blank period, okay? I'm getting a only time will tell. For some of y'all, um, this is the last chance that you're giving someone to get their shit together. I'm also getting... Um, I heard out of the mouths of babes. I really feel like somebody was very immature the last time you had dealt with them. And they are trying to showcase a newfound maturity. This person may have recently, like, gotten a mentor or maybe they're going to counseling. Or they have come into contact with somebody who is making them view things differently. Or this could be you, okay? And I feel like there are subtle changes that are happening in the environment that are actually going to allow things to run more smoothly in the future. But it's like you have to get past like uh, some part that's kind of really scary. Okay. And I, they took me back to a vision I had. I had no idea what they were telling me the other day with this vision. Um, they had showed me it, it is a love interest. It is a love interest or somebody who you have some kind of connection with. Okay. Like a partnership with. All right. They had showed me you and this person. I feel like they were in the room doing something or needing to do something. And you got the urge to leave, but you didn't want to leave by yourself. But you didn't feel like you necessarily needed to be in the same place for uh, much longer. It's like you got what you needed and you were ready to go. Um, and it's like the way that you were having to go, they showed me. I feel like this was literally before Lions, Lions Gate. There was one direction where there was a mountain lion that you were going to have to, you know, you was going to have to figure out who you was, <laughs> are you taking your chances with the mountain lion or are you taking your chances with the dog? <laughs> um, I feel like both, it was like a pit bull dog. It looked like a really aggressive dog. So I feel like, you know, you were having to make a choice. So I feel like there is something that's coming up in your environment in this next little while where you're about to have to make a serious decision on which way you want to go. Okay, um, this could be a situation where somebody is trying to come back from your past and it's like they're like, look, I've changed. I've shifted into, you know, this person. I'm more mature now on this I'm that. Okay, and they very well could be um, this could be a soulmate energy as well. And it's like they're trying to show up now. They may not have showed up in the past. I feel like for some of you, um, it took seeing you in a certain state for them to want to come forward. Okay, um, I guess they may be the mountain lion. It's the one that you're a little bit nervous about. Okay, there's like a mountain lion and there's a dog. It's like, which one are you going to choose? Okay, I feel like when I looked up the meaning of the mountain lion, it was something about resilience, agility. Um, I, I feel like <laughs> whenever, when I was the person in the dynamic that they were showing me, I chose the dog. Okay, so, you know, each of you, you know, may have a different experience with what's about to come up in y'all's environment this next little while. The dog, to me, represented more safety, more stability, and a lo loyalty, a loyal friend. That mountain lion, though, like a feminine energy, feline energy, but it's very aggressive energy, like, uh... I heard will maul you okay so i feel like this person or the situation whatever it is for you may have mauled you or have left some kind of wounding or scar okay and there's like there's a situation going on here where i guess you're having to choose uh between somebody who has the potential of hurting you and setting you back or taking you out and someone who is a loyal friend or someone who will be loyal to you okay i guess you know wherever you're at in life you know pay attention because i feel like there's something about it's the last chance this is literally the last time that this opportunity is going to present itself okay for some of you i know y'all are over here screaming at me good riddance or whatever like i left this person you know or we were done done but i feel like there's something happening where something has clicked with someone. And they they definitely want to speak to you. Okay. So uh, you need to address this situation very carefully. Um, not jumping into anything all willy nilly. Just because a situation is presenting itself. You need to be very present in this decision. And how you're going to move forward. Okay, are you going to choose, you know, the one, the uh, pit bull that could go either way? It could be aggressive, you know. My my pit's aggressive as hell. Like she she ain't letting nobody come over. If you if she don't know you, she don't she is she don't know you. Okay, 
Um, we always have to put her up when we have people over. But uh, but that mountain lion, look, you, you got a 50-50 chance with the, you know, the pit. And then there's that mountain lion. I'm like, you know, I, I haven't really done any kind of research on them but i would not want to want to take that chance because there's something about it's a last chance okay well, like i said each of you it'll be diff something different for each of you you all may not be in the same you know stages of life but I, I feel like there's something about you're starting to pay more attention to your mortality there's something about mort mortality ethics your life and you're not wanting to take unnecessary risk i guess we get there in the end okay there's an obstacle what is it that he knows next week for mm. photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories talking interested conversing more awaiting message or message arrives text call email hovering y'all and i feel like it's that past person and didn't i tell y'all that already it may be a soulmate and y'all be like no that's not my soulmate if it's not your reading it's not your reading um every reading can't be your reading but it says soul contract partnership agreement and so look because i read that soul contract that's on the bottom. Soul connection. It's a soul contract. You have a soul contract still open with somebody from your past. And they're coming in in this next little while wanting to rehash things or have a serious conversation about how a specific challenge that is arising can be maneuvered around. Okay. Um, this could have been somebody here who I'm getting, I'm seeing like dry mouth, has dry mouth. Maybe they have have a dry mouth or maybe this is somebody who has a hard time speaking up or speaking about certain topics or addressing certain things um i see somebody is becoming more open to i guess the way that things went down and they want to speak now okay y'all some of y'all i definitely see that you're shocked you're shocked by the fact that this person's wanting to speak now okay it says sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation there is a situation that is transforming with somebody from your past is transforming and it's almost like somebody's trying to grow from a specific connection that may have failed may have flopped okay maybe you had stopped speaking to this person they've been thinking about you very heavily in a way of bringing um it's either bringing in closure or bringing in a, like transforming the energy between you and them transforming the dynamic okay and i feel like you're back and forth on whether you want to even open that door okay there may have been certain things that you've told the new person who you're dealing with or maybe you've told your friends about certain things that have popped off within this partnership and it's like you need to move very carefully through that because you already know what's going to be coming back at you you know i don't know if it's from your family your friends whoever it is that you've already told about certain challenges that you've experienced with this person okay was was the significance in the dog choosing a dog what was the significance in that mask not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting along with chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues okay so i feel like what they're saying with the significance of the dog is i feel like there's somebody who you have recently started connecting with. Um, it could be a friend. I don't feel like... Yeah, they ain't told you shit. They ain't told you shit about how they actually operate in connections, partnerships. Um, how clingy they are. How clingy they can be. How clingy they can get. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, preluding, focusing out. Okay, so if you say something to this new person, okay, or this, this friend, whoever this is, that is kind of involved in your business. If you say anything... They're going to, you know, either act like they didn't hear it, act like they didn't see it, but behind the scenes, they are definitely going to be looking into um, whatever it is that you had talked to them about. I feel like this is somebody here who is very self-conscious, 
okay? It's, it's a very self-conscious person. So for some of you, you've got a friend who is about to come into your environment or who's in your environment who is acting like they are more confident than they are. Okay, um, they may try to do this thing, like if you need space, they'll try to give you space, but they look at their phone constantly thinking that you're going to be in it. They're trying to act like they're okay with, you know, certain things. Okay, so some of you need to know that there may be somebody who you're pretty interested in in this time or you're thinking about, you know, embarking on something new with them. You need to be mindful that this person is hiding the fact that they are clingy as hell. They're clingy as hell, okay? They're trying to act like they're cool. It's all cool. Nah, yeah, it's fine. You're going to go do this. They're going to be trailing you. It would not shock me if they've got like a... <laughs> <laughs> a tag uh, okay that is getting a little creepy uh, a tag on your car or a tag on your um i don't know a tag on your phone 360 app something like that okay there's somebody who uh may be presenting themselves as a friend to you in your environment who they either want to be more than friends but there's something about you need to take it slow and get to know them in a different manner instead of the way that you might have known them. If this is somebody from your past, like I feel like there's something about you may have been friends with somebody and you may be shifting the energy. The energy may be shifting in this friendship, okay, or partnership, whatever. It, it's shifting. And I feel like a mask is also coming down about this person where it's like, damn. I did not know that you really felt this way or I didn't know it was really like that. I feel like you may be seeing this in the next little while and this could actually be very challenging for you, okay? Uh, because I feel like this person hid this very well. It's also given this energy of somebody hiding a secret obsession with you uh, that you were not aware of, okay? They, they hid it very well, okay? I feel like this person definitely watches you very closely to the point where I feel like you would be incredibly uncomfortable if you were to really know how close this person watched you okay they may act like they aren't paying attention in certain instances and they really they really are um they also showed me a um a magnifying glass so i feel like this person sees all the things that most people don't even see about you i feel like they still love it they still want to get uh closer to you but what you do need to know is this person may have actually talked to you about certain things that they've gone through in their past oh they glossed over it they glossed over it this person does not like to be alone they have a really hard time being alone they won't be alone Okay, um, like, this is like somebody who feels like, the, I didn't like that, I said, that. I'm gonna say it anyway, because it came, y'all don't get mad at me, uh, this is somebody who needs an owner, that's given a dog that needs an owner, okay, and is trying to act all cool so they'll be chosen, or act all, you know, nonchalant so they'll be chosen, but they need an owner, somebody cannot be single to save their life, <laughs> Okay, so that, that leads me to believe that this person may be um, getting out of a connection or transitioning out of a connection, possibly while y'all are starting one up, okay? Um, so you just need to be real careful with that, okay? Uh, there's more information that you need to get about this new person or uh, this new connection that you're, look, you're thinking of getting into, okay, I am also going to tell you that person that you still have a soul contract, like, you, this could have been over for a while, if you've got a soul contract open with someone else, if you haven't closed it off completely, they're picking up on the energy of you connecting with new people, okay, they also c are picking up on this energy of the fact that either, you're releasing them or you're releasing the contract it's almost like you don't want to fulfill it anymore or you're not um looking to pursue the contract anymore that person knows it this is why i feel like it was talking about a three-piece situation okay um either way they're telling you with both scenarios both situations you better be real careful in the way that you handle this one because there's something about uh, there won't be a coming back from whatever situation is about to unfold in your environment with these people. So that, that being said, that makes it feel like it's, it's a love connection. All of it feels like a love connection. Okay. Somebody from the past and somebody new. All right. And I feel like these, 
you may even feel like you want a vacation from the situation here in the next little while because of, I guess, the decisions that are coming up to be made. Um, I feel like you have the ability to do this, but you need to give yourself time and not feel like you need to rush into anything. Because if you rush into something too quickly with this new person, you it's like you know them. But you know a version of them. Like, I feel like you may know the friendship version of them. You don't know the relationship version. That's two totally different people. Okay? Um, if For those of you who chose the dog, I guess I should have gave y'all that scenario to begin with. Choose the dog or the lion. And then I'll pretty much tell you how this shit's about to go. Um, but others of you, I just really see that there is um, somebody from the past coming back in to try to transform y'all's connection. Okay? And it's like they're doing this because they've already picked up on you're moving on, you're moving forward, and you're not looking at life the way that you used to, okay? That morality shift, okay, where you're not just like, I can do this, it's fine, it, it ends, it's fine, I'll go do this, I'll do this. Like, there's something about a one and done. I keep getting a one and done and a last chance scenario. So, I feel like somebody is coming back hoping to get another chance. And I feel like this person is in the energy of wanting to lock things down. Because they know that it's their last chance. Look, if they choose to, how will that go? If they choose to, how will that go? If they choose this past person, if they choose the mountain lion, how will that go? <laughs> We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. It's giving butterflies. How about some butterfly effect? Okay. Sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Okay. So, her trial and error. So, if you are to open yourself back up to a person from your past, it's going to have to be completely restructured. The way that y'all have y'all connected previously will have to be completely torn down and rebuilt in order to have something that's going to work because there is a lot of heart healing that's still going to have to take place because of certain things that have already happened. Um, it says healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. It's almost like the things that were showing up before are going to have to be worked on actively. So some of you are going to need to say that when this person calls us. Like, look, I know, you know, you expect us to be this way, but that's not who I am anymore. If you want to... I started hearing a song. If you want to be my lover, you got to get... I don't, want, I don't know. You got to get with my friends. Okay, so... Um, if you want to be my lover, you're going to have to make amends with my friends. That's kind of what I'm getting. So there could have been a real big thing to where it's like involving friends and family because everybody knows about whatever this is. Um, whoever this is that's coming back, everybody knows about y'all's situation and the whole dynamic will have to be restructured for this person to come in. It's like, they're not going to be able to come in the way that they once were. Okay. And this is going to be like a serious conversation that's having to take place. All right. Is that person actually capable of making these changes? They gonna come and try to seduce your ass. It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Are they actually capable of making the changes? <sighs> and then we've got sword of and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. What's on the bottom? camera reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories okay so why do i feel like this person may have already like gotten caught on the job with somebody else or there's something that may have happened with this past connection it's a, there's a lot of stuff that's gonna have to be healed with this past connection and I feel like there may be something that does replay. It's like I feel the energy will seduce you into trying this again with this person. But I like I feel like they've changed to some degree. But it still looks like a cycle that would continue. It's like this is somebody who's growing. But it's like y'all are growing in different ways. Or you are growing into different people. 
okay? I feel like it would take a lot of work for you and that person to get back on the same page because of whatever happened in the past because it's very known, it's very talked about. Okay, let's see what that says with seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, um, I am going to tell you something else. I told you that this third party, this person from the past is coming back in to kind of like throw you off your game with connecting to a new person or opening up a new soul tie, soul contract. If they got the chance to hook up with you, this person is going to either film it take a picture of it they want some kind of proof or evidence they're going to shake the whole dynamic of the new person that it is that you're trying to deal with i'm telling you um they and they're gonna there there will there will be nothing secret about that rendezvous i'm just letting you know for those of you who are thinking about you know sleeping with this person from your past they are i, I don't see them as being out for blood but i do see that they they want to tell somebody that look this is my person or look we're still talking or look this that and the third because they still see you as theirs it doesn't matter if you've moved on. They still see you as theirs. So some of y'all are going to be shocked to know how in-depth that person feels about you. Okay? How will things be with you and the, the one who chose the dog? If you go down that route. How will things be with you? Or what are the chances if you choose the dog? Okay. We've got wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Why do I feel like this person's going to try to get you elope with them? Focusing on self, self work, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciate. I, this person really appreciates you. All the things that you. It's really funny. Y'all got talking on this one and talking girl talk on this one. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay, so I feel like if you are to choose the dog, I feel like this connection is going to go a lot faster than this one will. This one, there's still a lot of learning, healing, and growing that is necessary. Um, with this one, I definitely see um, that this has the... This person will be somebody who wants to build you up. This is somebody who you could legitimately, even if it's a guy, you could have girl talk with. This person's going to be the top two. It's like whatever you want to talk. They're your yes man or yes woman, whatever. It's like whatever you want to do, they're down for. Whatever you're trying to do, they're there for it, okay? Um, it's very, it's a very supportive role that you're going to be getting from those who chose the dog or, or going down the route of linking up with it's a safer option, okay? It's a safer option. Um, I know some of you may have been a little bit alerted or worried that that wouldn't be the safer option, but I feel like that one is actually going to nourish your soul a lot more. For those of you who are choosing to go the safe option, you're going to need to, um, when that person's over here trying to call and talk or trying to communicate, you're going to have to be real careful on how you handle the dynamic because i'm telling you they want to whoever that is right there is trying to sabotage this one okay like the mountain lion would eat the dog would it not i think it would i think it's bigger than the dog. i don't know i don't know we're not going to watch that play out <laughs> i don't want to see that um but i definitely feel like uh that mountain lion is going to try to come for that dog okay <laughs> So, for those of you who are dealing with those third-party connections, be real mindful of that. Um, because I really feel like they are picking up on how supportive this other person is to your soul. The fact that it's like they would be the type to... I'm not even going to say... About <sighs> said sponsored dreams. Okay, it's like things that you want to do... Uh, they want to see you excel in. Like, if you were to want to create, um, do something creative that nobody has faith in you for, they're going to be the hype man or the hype woman, okay? Um, you've got a connection where somebody is trying to show you that they're the one, okay? <laughs> but you really, 
I see you as, you, you don't even think anything about moving fast, but I feel like you're going to start paying attention to how fast you're actually moving with this person because I feel like they're about to start showing little signs of how clingy or possessive they actually are. I feel like that you haven't been looking at or you haven't been seeing it recently, but you're going to see it here in the next little while, okay? Anyways, that is what I've got for you guys. I love you so very much, and I will see you later. Bye.